Hello, little artist. Hello. Hello. My little assistant Sophia and I welcoming you to our next art lesson. Today we are painting these beautiful flowers. These flowers called butterfly bush. <sighs> they smell divine. They are the favorite flowers of butterflies. Are you excited, Sophia? Would you like to paint them? We do lots of online shopping and receive lots of boxes from Amazon. And I was wondering, why don't we reuse some of those materials? So today we decided to paint on some of those boxes. But you can use ordinary paper or the canvas. But I thought it's a good idea to help our planet. So for the lesson today, I brought this cardboard made out of the Amazon packaging. Uh, we will be painting with acrylic paint, red violet, pink, purple. Mom, you like the same colors. Exactly the same colors. That's why we're using these colors to paint these flowers. And some colors for the background, white, yellow, orange, and some green colors for the leaves and stems. We will be painting the background with the ordinary kitchen sponges. I use the pack as a handle, so it's easier to, to paint with it and that's less messy. I'll show you how to make them. Ordinary kitchen sponge, scissors, cut it in halves. Please take a pack and fold half of the kitchen sponge. And here you go. The pack holds the kitchen sponge and it's ready to paint with. Also, we will be painting with cotton buds. Take around six of them and please take the rubber band and just tie them together. We will be using some water to clean the kitchen sponges. Are you ready? Let's get busy. So let's begin with painting the background. Our background will consist of three colors, white, yellow, and orange. And I will squeeze some of the paint directly onto the cupboard. White, yellow. We'll create this glowing on the paper, the effect of glowing. So hopefully it will look like the sun. Sophia, take the sponge, please, and start dabbing yeah. from the middle around. That's it, yes, and nicely blend paints together. I'll help you. So it should be lighter in the middle and uh, getting more orange to the edges. So I think if I add some pink color on the edges, just a little bit. Let's start dabbing again. <laughs> Just on the edges. Don't go to the middle with the pink. Nice blended colors. I love our background. It looks so great. It's a beautiful glowing background. It looks like the sun, doesn't it? Wow, wonderful, Sophia. Good job. Let's now wait a bit. Should get dry. I think it's almost dry. Let's try and paint flowers now. We have some green paint left from the previous lesson. So now I'm going to paint beautiful curved stems, three stems. One, two, they cross each other. Stems are a bit thicker at the bottom and they get slimmer to the top. And the third stem. Yeah. So let's take some purple and pink colors, squeeze them onto the palette and the violet. Take this uh, bunch of cotton buds, please, dip in, in the paint, and now we'll be painting those flowers. Painting this flower. Yes, paint along the stem, go from the bottom to the top, like this. Wonderful. Yes, I Yeah. Just look at the shape of the flowers and uh, try to repeat it. Okay. Yes, Sophie, wonderful. Very well. And this flower starting from the middle. Take some more paint, please. Violet color first. And it's wider here at the bottom. <laughs> Don't overdo it here at the top because it's quite sharp. You see, let's look at the shape of the flower. 
it's thicker here and gets slimmer there. It gets wider here at the bottom and they get slimmer at the top. Now I take purple color and add some different shades of purple. Do they look similar, Sophia? Yeah. Try not to change the shape, just add some more purple. And let's do the same with the other flowers. Don't forget wider at the bottom and slim at the top. Pointy end. Now let's add a bit more pink. Let's take single cotton bud and let's add some pink. Dip it in and dab on the flower. Make them more individual spots. What? It's dry. It's dry, yeah. We will be painting the leaves in a minute. Almost ready. Draw a butterfly. A butterfly? Yeah. It's a splendid idea. Do you know how to draw a butterfly? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Butterfly. No. Beautiful. Can I paint some leaves now? Yeah. It's missing some leaves, so we'll be painting quite a few. One leaf. And this leaf is behind the flower, so it's not visible. It's not completely visible, but just part of it. Sophie got carried away and she decided to draw not only a butterfly, but also a ball. Mommy, look like what I'm going to paint. Now tell me what it's going to be. What is it going to be? Oh, what a beautiful flower! It's a real flower in the bowl. And some veins. Yeah. No, every leaf has veins, just like us. I can add green stem to the flower because it's visible. Say a flower! Mommy, say a flower. A flower. <laughs> Sophia, I think our painting is ready. Well, little artist, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I can't wait to see your beautiful paintings. Please do send them to our WhatsApp group. You will find the link in the description below. And also, please check out our Patreon link in the description. We would be so glad if you become our patron. You can find more art lessons there. I hope you like this idea about giving second life to the boxes that you receive in the post. And I think today we made one piece of cupboard a bit happier. We painted a beautiful painting on it and it probably will be hanging on one of our walls instead of going to the recycle center. We are looking forward to see you to the next art lesson. Bye artists, keep on creating! <laughs>